Alright guys, welcome to the video. If you're here, you probably already know that Motion Bro is one of the best plugins for Premiere Pro and After Effects. The less you add transitions and effects and all sorts of good stuff like that in just a few clicks. I'm going to just quickly show you how to install it because I know a lot of people struggle with this. So I'm going to show you how to install it for Premiere Pro and After Effects. I'll also quickly show you how to use it, how to get the free presets and where to buy my favourite extension packs so let's go so first of all you're going to go to motionbro.net download the extension now we're going to open up the extension we're going to click extract all we're going to create a new folder let's just create a new folder and call it motion bro hit enter hit enter select folder extract and you can see motion bro has been extracted here but we've got a zxp file so what you need to do is go to trusty google type zxp installer zxpinstaller.com download for windows now we're going to click zxp installer open this up this is just going to install now we're just going to drag the zxp file into here click yes this is going to install the adobe application your extension has been installed please restart your adobe application so now i'll show you how to download and install the free presets pack and install my favorite presets pack from envato so first of all hit free presets here get free presets for premiere pro or after effects let's just start with premiere pro get free presets pack personal use commercial use as you can see if these are used in commercial projects such as video projects, uh, things that you're going to sell. I'm going to put 15. I will probably use this for client work. So I'm going to put commercial use. Now you're just going to either buy it or if you're using it for personal use, you can obviously just get the free version. So when you've purchased it, I'll give you the option to view content. So what I can do is I can click download here and I'm going to download the file. It's 1.2 gigabytes, so it's probably going to take a couple of minutes. So now that zip file has downloaded, we're going to extract and we're going to go to our motion bro folder and click select folder and then extract and we're going to be extracting all packs here again as it's 2749 items it might take a second to extract so now you can see all our packs are extracted and they're in the motion bro folder so now what we're going to do is open up premiere pro so you need to go windows extensions motion bro 3.2 select or create folder where all packages for motion bro will be stored see how this has popped up so now we're going to just click the motion bro folder select folder right so press button to check we we'll check code for the pack and the pack is already there for the free code purchase code confirmed purchase code confirmed this works for the free codes but not for the paid codes which i'll show you in a second and as you can see we've got our free free sets and our sound effects here so We've got a bunch of design layouts which you can add as well but let's just for example we've got some graphics typography i'm going to drag in some stock footage just two two random pieces of stock footage so first of all if you want to put a transition then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the point where there's two scenes we're going to go down to transitions and we can just hit maybe there's a warp here we'll just click apply and it's going to apply the transition between the two scenes Okay, now if we want to add another element, we can just go, for example, HUD elements. I don't know why she would be buffering, but right now she's buffering. And then, whoom, and now she she's buffered. She's buffered and turned into a man. Okay, so now we've loaded up the YouTube guy. We can go to social media, for example. Maybe hit subscribe. <clears throat> maybe hit subscribe <clears throat> and we can add that element now if we want to edit the element we want to make sure we've got the essential graphics tab open we can use our effects control to make the whole composition bigger or smaller and if we're in essential graphics we can change the text here so for example right now it says subscribe subscribed we could change the second text to say thanks I know it wouldn't say thanks but just to show you this is how you edit these elements and we can change the roundness of the box and things like that and there's a whole bunch of elements in there so finally i'm going to show you how to download and install another pack with a serial key from envato and i'm going to show you my favorite pack which has a lot more of these elements so if we go on motion bro's website most of his stuff is on envato and you can see you can get the After Effects or Premiere Pro versions. One of my favorite packs is the Tokyo Graphics Pack, which I've already downloaded from Envato Elements. So you can see if you click here, it takes you to the Tokyo Pack. You can add to cart and you can buy it now. 
regular license is for the normal license extended license is for using it in commercial product projects so if you're going to sell videos with that in there i would use that i'm just going to go to downloads and i'm going to download my social media pack so then you go to downloads and you download main files so this is 3.6 gigabytes so this is going to take a little while but I'm not going to make you wait. All right, guys, so now six months has passed and the file's downloaded. We're going to right click, we're going to extract all, and we're going to save it in the same Motion Bro folder. So we're going to click select here, extract, show extracted files when completed. Okay, so we're going to click this little icon here and we're going to go refresh package list. I just realized I downloaded the After Effects version, so I'm going to show you in After Effects, but the process is exactly the same. So let's create a new project, new composition, call it poop. Now what we're going to do, as you can see, Motion Bro is already installed because it installs on both, but you need to go edit preferences, scripting and expressions and turn on allow scripts to write files. So close these boxes, edit preferences, scripting and expressions, allow scripts to write files. Okay. You never need to do that again. So windows extensions, Motion Bro. So now you can see Motion Bro is in is in After Effects, but it's asking for the purchase code. So what you do in in Envato, you go over to your license, you go over to Download, and you go License Certificate and Purchase Code. Open it up. Wait a minute, I'm not that stupid. Then you're going to go over, you're going to copy and paste your code in here, and press Check. It was purchased a year ago. Support period is expired, but it doesn't matter. Now you can see we have the pack in After Effects and it will work exactly the same as in Premiere Pro. So now let's just add a template with some text. I don't have the font, so I'll show you how to change the font. You're going to click into the composition and you're going to be changing things in the layer files here. So we can change the font. So I could go Montserrat. Let's go bold. As you can see, the shapes automatically adjust. If there are any settings, you can change colors and things like that by clicking on the settings layer in Motion Bro in After Effects. But that is it. That's pretty much how you install and use Motion Bro in After Effects. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this stuff, then please leave a comment, subscribe, all that crap. That's gonna that's gonna help me make money. Thanks.